You may be wondering as you look at all of this, how is it possible that flooding could cause this much damage? Well, our meteorologist Stefano DiPietro is live out surveying the damage. And Stefano, tell us how water is capable of producing this type of damage. Uh, it is absolutely amazing, Carly, to, to even just think about that water could cause something like this. Now, we are actually in Trace Creek right now here in Waverly, and you can see, I mean, water levels have obviously significantly dropped, but 48 hours ago, it was a completely different story. As a matter of fact, just around 24 hours ago, I want you to look all the way out behind me. See that car that's sort of just embedded into the creek bed right now? That was not visible around 24 hours ago. Now the levels have dropped. We're starting to see more debris. Just what this flood water picked up and the answer to that is everything and anything in its past from these trees that are just dammed up against the support beams of this underpass and if we pan a little bit more to the right you'll also actually see that sheet metal that just bends around all of this 16 17 inches of rain is what caused all of this these creeks these small streams cannot handle that much water in such a short period of time some places within 18 hours. Now we tend to talk about the big things. We've been showing the pictures of all of the cars that are displaced as well as some of the sheds that are flipped over. Uh, but as we've been down here in the creek, we've been finding people's personal belongings like this teddy bear. It really goes to show just how much people lost, not just here in Waverly, but all throughout Humphreys County and all throughout Middle Tennessee that has had to deal with this flooding. It has been phenomenal to see this community come together. We are all going to get through this as a community.